Hey, what's up you guys? Mike Donovan here. Today's workout is gonna be a mashup. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what a mashup is, it's a few shorter workouts strung together to make up one long, super fun, super delicious kick butt workout. This workout is gonna be a full on 30 minute hit dumbbell workout. Get in, get done, get on with the rest of your day and be stronger because of it. And be sure you check out MDTV by clicking the link right there to start your free trial. Your support helps keep this channel alive, allows me to create more awesome workouts for you. And as a member, you get access to brand new member workouts that you won't find anywhere else. Anyways, you guys, let's get in this workout and I'll catch you at the tail end of it. So to start things off, we're gonna start off in a baby squat complex. Funny name, but it's so good to warm everything up. So from right here, starting with those feet about shoulder width apart, feet slightly turned out. We're gonna roll down, feeling a stretch in the hamstrings. From right here, you're gonna drop your butt down low. You're gonna reach those hands up high and come all the way to standing. Again, same thing. Bring it down so you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Drop the butt, reach the hands up high, and then right back down. Drop, reach it up. There we go. Down, bring it down, reach it up, and up. Down, drop, reach, up. Down, drop, reach, up. Now, if you don't have the range of motion to reach those hands overhead, go ahead and keep your hands right here and just drive up from that squat, all right? But as you start to feel more warm, reach those hands up as high as you can. Bring it back down. We have about one more rep right here. Finish it all the way through, down, drop the butt, reach the hands up. We're ready for the next move. We're gonna go right into jumping jacks. So now, Got everything loose, got everything warm. Shoulders are moving, legs are moving, hips are moving, core is tight. We're just gonna start to elevate that heart rate. And as you start feeling more warm, feel free to pick up that pace, increase that range of motion, land a little softer on those feet. We have about 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, Two, one. Square off those feet. Now we're gonna go into regular squats. Hands at your chest, drive up, bring it back. Drive up, bring it back. So you're driving those arms forward so they act as a counterbalance so you can sink lower into that squat. As you drive those arms, you're also gonna elevate that heart rate a little bit more because you're moving more muscle groups. We got six, we got four, we got two, and right here. Shake everything out. We're gonna take a side lunge out to the right. Tap down with that left hand, bring it in. Other side, out, bring it in, out, bring it in. Now, that back arm, feel free to reach it up. Not too high, just a small little rotation. But make sure you're getting low into that side lunge. Warm up that spine by that twist. Pulling those abs in, working those obliques. Five seconds, we're gonna start to add a small little hop and small little hop. You don't need to cover a lot of ground. Just that small little hop, that small little power up is gonna help elevate that heart rate You'll notice, you'll start picking up that breath. We got six more seconds. Finish off one more each way. And yeah, shake everything out. From right here, you're gonna take a big reverse lunge back. Reach those hands up high. Lightly drop that knee down. Get a nice stretch. Step it back in. Other side. Now, if that's too much on your shoulders, feel free to end right here. You're still working on that back bend. You're still opening up those shoulders, opening up that chest. But if you can, reach those arms straight up. Lightly place that back knee down to the ground, okay? Don't just let it slam down. You're gonna be opening up the hip flexor of that back leg. You're gonna be opening up those shoulders, your chest, working that core as well. Now, 
when you reach up, if you're keeping those arms straight, make sure you keep those arms straight, okay? Don't be right here. If you're right here, feel free to bend them back, all right? Otherwise, straight up with the arms, you'll get deeper in that hip flexor, deeper into that psoas. We got six, we got four, we got two, and one more. Now from right here, we're gonna take a front lunge. Our left elbow is gonna connect to our right knee, drive it back. Other side, drive it back. Again, working that rotation that's so important for the spine, for the core. Getting everything warmed up right here, pulling it over, bring it back to center. Pulling it over, bring it back to center. I actually want your gaze to follow those hands. So don't just keep looking straight on. Follow those hands as you take those steps out. Uh, 10 more seconds. We got five. We got three. And last one. Right back into jumping jacks. Now, just loosening everything up again, shaking everything out. Start to pick up that pace just a little bit more. Shoulders should be loose, hips should be loose. Heart rate should be elevated. Work those muscles through that full range of motion. Work those joints through that full range of motion as well. Five seconds, four, three, two, and whew, nice. You're all ready and you're warmed up. You're ready to get into the workout. Okay, you guys, grab those weights. Check out what this first move is gonna look like first. You're gonna go into skier swing. You're gonna hold it up. Drop it down, bring it in, right back into that skier swing. Oh, I know. So from right here, starting that skier swing, bring it back, drive it up, drop squat, drive it up, back, up, drop squat, up, back, up, drop squat, up. Remember, that skier swing is a total hip hinge. So you're going for one hip hinge and one squat. So that drop squat and that hip hinge should look differently. One, you're dropping the butt down in that squat and then in that hip hinge, you're sending the butt back. Nice shot. Immediately bring it down to the ground. Check out what's gonna happen. Just gonna go into renegade rows, Whew. but with a little pizzazz to it. So push up, row, push up, row. Jump the feet in, reach up, bring it down and back. Push up, row, push up, row. Jump the feet in, reach it up, down and back. Notice how flat, oops. I keep my back, sorry, my bad, I messed up on that one. Push up, row, push up, row. Jump the feet in, reach it up, Whew. right down and back. Push up, row, push up, row. Jump the feet in, Whew. press it up, bring it down and back. One more, push up, row, push up, row. Jump the feet in, reach it up. Bring it down and back. Now, whew, whew, next move. Hold on to those weights. Stay down on the ground. Oh, check it out. So, starting right here. Bring it out. Bring it out. Whew, whew, shoulders. Whew, 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 ah, ah, shoulders. Core. Heart rate. Everything on fire. Guess your heart rate's not on fire. Your heart's on fire. Whew, Ha, ha. 
Ah, oh my God. No shoulders, you guys. So I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Ah, shoulders. Woo. Don't worry. We get an active recovery in 10 seconds. Eight, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, man. Okay. Overhead tricep extensions. That's your active recovery. If I can actually pick up the weights. So right here. Connect the hands together. Press up. Overhead tricep extensions. Oh my gosh. Guys. It's already burning. How? Oh. It's more of the shoulders than anything. Oh. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. Keep going, you guys. Sorry. Uh, 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 ten, eight, six, uh, five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Who? So, hold on that way, just like this. You're gonna drop into a lunge. All right, so drop lunge here, drop lunge, bring it back. Drop lunge, bring it back. Drop lunge, back. If you have a good grip on the bell, you can hold it like this. But I know, a lot of people don't have dumbbells with the capability of holding it as easy like this. So remember, you can always hold it that first way. This is just, just allows a little more momentum. So you have to work a little harder to control it. Three more. Three, two, one more. Okay, remember, holding on to like this, or like this. Up to you. Right into it. Slam it down, bring it in. Slam it down, bring it in. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Three, two. I don't know if it was me, but time seemed to go super slow on that one. Bring it down to your knees. Next one is going to be a doozy. Woo! Ah! Okay, you guys. Woo! Serious hat is about to fall off. I can feel it. All right, next move. Crazy intense, crazy doozy. So let's pay attention right here. You're going to go down to a push up. Step that left leg in. Swing that right leg through. Drive up into a bridge. Oh, yeah. Bring it down and back. One side the entire time. Step in left, kick through right, drive it up, in and back. Push up, step in, through, drive it up, down, back, push up. Step in, bring it in, drive through, in, back, back, ooh wee. Push up, step it in, bring it through, drive it up. One more. Uh, lied. Two more. One more now. Push up. Step it in. Bring it through. Drive it up. In and down. Staying on the knees. Find those weights. Regular bicep curls. Remember, lock those abs in. Tuck the pelvis. 
pull the abs, lift the chest. Sorry, I burped. Focusing on that breathing. Catching your breath right here. Last move with these weights. Two more. Last one. Move those legs off to the side. Now, same thing as the other side in that push up. All right? Woo. So, you had that push up this time. Step the right leg in. Kick the left leg through. Drive it in that bridge. Bring it in and back. Push up. Right. Left. Drive it up. In and back. Woo. Push up. Step in. Drive through. Drive it up. Uh, in and back. Push up. Step in. Kick through. Drive it up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, guys, I'm dying. Uh. Uh. Still dying. <laughs> uh. One more rep. Let's get this. Push up. Uh. In, through, drive it up, in, and down. Ah, ah. Guys, look how much I'm sweating, and we still got one more move left. So, in this one minute, it's gonna be two different moves. We're gonna start off with combat whoo, squat thrust. So, squat thrust, a burpee without the push up, throwing that punches. The last 30 seconds, we're gonna finish up by adding that burpee in, going all out, all right? So, oh, oh, I should stay facing this way so I can watch you. So I make sure you don't cheat and also so you make sure I don't cheat. So, it's right here. Ooh, let's go. Jump it in, jump it up. Punch, two, three, four, down, back. Moving fast. We haven't added that push up yet. Oh. I don't know what I'm reaching for. I'm reaching for something, it looks like. That water bottle, that margarita, that pizza. Next rep. Now we start to add that push up. Oy vey. Push up, in, up. One, two, three, four. Push up, jump in, jump up. One, two, three, four. Push up, jump in, jump up. Push up. Come in, jump up. One, two, three, four. Push up. Ah. One, two, three. Ah. Push up. Ah. Ah. Now just jab it out. Six, five, four, three, two, and. Oh. Woo. Ha. Ah. Ah. Oh. We're gonna start off in skier swings. I love these because they work the booty so good. So from right here, start with the feet about hip width apart or closer. You're gonna swing those weights back and then drive it straight up. Load up the hamstrings at the very top, squeeze the quads, squeeze the butt. Let momentum take over. Remember, it's not a front raise, it's a hip hinge. Swing back, swing up. From a profile view, it's gonna look like this. So notice how flat I keep my back. Notice how far I send my butt back. How tight I'm squeezing the quads. You got 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, okay. Whew. So from right here, we're gonna stay facing the profile view, or I am at least, you don't have to, but from right here, whew. hands are about shoulder width apart, okay? Usually like a closer grip, this time we're gonna need them wide. You're gonna push up, step that front leg in, bring it in, press it up, bring it down, drive it back, push up, step it in, bring it in, press it up, bring it down, drive it back. So two more reps. One more rep. Now, staying with that leg in the front, check it out. We're gonna go into a single leg deadlift. Bring it down, down, down. Pull it back in that row. Drive it straight up. Bring it down. Row. Drive it up. Right here is your active recovery. Ah. Find that balance. Bring it down smooth, control. Two more reps. One more rep. All right, bring it back down again. This time, same thing, just the other leg. So push up, step it in, curl, press. Plant it down, drive it back. Two more reps. One more rep. Oh, catch your breath. So, that same working legs forward. Our legs going back. Deadlift, row, stand right up. Deadlift, row, stand up. Oh. This leg's so much stronger than the other leg. Oh. One more rep. And good. Hooey. All right, from right here. Straight squat to press. Weight to the shoulders. Drop straight down, drive it up. Straight down, drive it up. Get that uh, stomp in there. Uh, press up strong uh, with intention, uh, with power. We got this. Six more reps, six, five, four, three, two, one more. 
Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Ah, check it out. Just a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So step back, curl, run straight up. This time step back, hammer curl. Just alternating lunges. Or I shouldn't say alternating lunges. Well, you are alternating lunges, but you're alternating curls. So you're giving me one regular, one hammer. Regular, hammer. Regular, hammer. Regular, hammer. Regular, hammer. Almost there. One more each side. And so now, change that working leg. We're gonna change sides halfway through, drop it down that lunge, and just go into overhead tricep extensions. If at any point this gets too much, you can go ahead and stand it up, but stay in that lunge, trying to bring those feet together. Elbows right by those ears. Six seconds, we switch. Five, four, three, two, mini break. Change sides, right into it. Ah, burning. Ah. Oh my gosh, staying in it. Ah. 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 Six, five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh. Okay. One more move left. All right. It is going to be a doozy. Let me show you what it's going to look like. All right. It's going to be a variation of a burpee. All right. So start on the ground. You're going to perform that burpee. Push up, jump it with your feet together. You're going to jump up, lunge, lunge. Bring it down, jump it back. All right, so jump up. You guys get it. If you need to watch me a couple times, watch me a couple times, and then get into it. Otherwise, if you're good for the full move, we're gonna rock this out. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Push up, jump the feet together, jump lunge, jump lunge, feet together, push up. Lunge, 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 Oh my gosh. I almost forgot what I was doing there for a second. That's 20 more seconds left. I'm gonna commit to finish these, these without stopping. Give me that same effort, that same intensity. Two more reps, non-stop. Jump, jump. One more, push up, in, jump, jump. Oh. Done. Woo. Amazing job, you guys. I knew you crushed that workout. High five. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Remember, if you like this workout, be sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Be sure you share the workout and share the channel with your friends. That way our fit fam grows bigger and stronger. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, guys, it will see you next time with a brand speaking new workout. I hope all is well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.